On today's episode of Moto Cheese. And it's nasty. The following movie is rated I. What are those? Captain John's gonna take us out fishing today. Oh, that's a hot one. O2 Carolina Skiff, 115 Yamaha. There's a lot of room in these boats. Oh yeah. That's why it's great for the kids. Uh, right up here on the island. We're on our way, Captain John. Row boats coming out. How'd you guys do? A few trout. Nice. Thanks. Get one of them, John. Yeah, it's a lottery. <laughs> then I'll be in the That's right, it won't be from here, it'll be in the Bahamas. Man, that thing's big for here. Look at that thing. Oh my god. That nuts. A little bit. Here's my fishing boat. The raccoons on there on Shell Island. Is it full of rattlesnakes? There's a snake island too, isn't there? Yes. I saw him, but he's gone. Oh, he's gone. There's a reef over there. Someone died. That wasn't there last time I was here. Joanne Keller. Hi. What's up, buddy? You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> hey, what's the shrimp? Yeah, give me a little piece of shrimp. God, it scared the hell out of me. Just keep your distance. Not you, him. <laughs> Got a nose here. How cool is that? That is cool. No more. Oh, no, no, you're not coming on the boat. No. Sorry, we can't take you, buddy. <laughs> this is your island. With Raccoon here on Raccoon. What the f I left all my real good Meridines and my other tackle box, my kids' tackle box. The grandkids all have their own tackle box. And I take theirs when I go. That's right. You probably bought most of it anyway. He ain't letting go. What the heck? You want him? Boy, that's a nice blue claw. My dad would eat this guy up. Look at him. Yeah. Go ahead, finish it off, buddy. If my dad was here, he'd be like, bring it in a boat, we're gonna eat it. Oh, yeah. yeah, got my shrimp. Yeah, when I'm little, some kind of bird. Hard to hold steady. Hopefully we catch our dinner tonight, Captain John. Sail cat. <laughs> nice
wait, got trout. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice trout. Now I'm knotted. Damn it. Ha ha. Got a little knot. <laughs> No way. Yeah. Uh, I was going to get the net. Oh, we didn't do that great. He got a nice trout. I got a nice little sail cat. We almost caught a raccoon. I swam in there, it drops right off, drops right off like that. Ain't that right, Captain John? That's right. We're going to get some grub. We got our sea legs. Yeah. <laughs> got a little sun. A little sun. Maybe a lot. Nah, I didn't do too bad. I did all right. That's nothing. Hey, you're on my island. <laughs> Get him, Rocky. Rocky Raccoon. Get him, Rocky. I don't know what it is. It's a piece of foam. Alright, we'll scoop it up. We saved the day. We saved the planet. <laughs> it's so it's so in the thick you can't even tell. Yeah. It's real good fishing in here. Wow. Yeah, you can just about see it. I wonder if they'd complain if I ever docked up there and walked around. It says no trespass. Oh, does Stay it? Oh, I something. see it now, yeah. Forget it. There's a, right there, it's all, like a garage, it's all shed. See it? The shed's all oh, yeah. run down in there. But he raised a family on here and he would have to go across to there with a rowboat to get this kids on. Oh, uh, to get his out. kids on the bus and everything? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I, I see the no trespassing now. Darn. Really? So the state owns it and then they can stay there yeah. until they pass away. Huh. Pretty neat. better tour guide than Walt Disney, Captain John. <laughs> Not even scratch the surface. Yeah, all those little tiny, yeah. I guess they'd be... A house cool. back in there. There's a house in there too? There or on that pine. No kidding. Another house. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny is when I first started looking at property down here, mm -hmm. there was a, a like a shack on an island for 30000 and it was like two acres. Mm -hmm. But the only way to get there is by boat. Oh. Brandon, I bring him here and catches a lot of fish right off the damn dock. I don't catch nothing. <laughs> That's where they. Yeah, 
Indian archaeology site. It starts with an O. Incas or O, I forget the name of them. Look at these houses. Did they? Oh, because they got flooded? Yeah. Or they were... The builder didn't finish them. They're occupied now, aren't they? Most of them. Well, got my sea legs today. Thank you very much, Captain John. You're welcome. Anytime. Since you paid for everything, I'm treating dinner. Okay. Your choice. You gotta pick where you wanna go. He's the master at that too. Look at that. Good job, Captain John. Captain John's choice. Typhoon. Got some wontons with an appetizer, spring rolls. Yes, very good. Wontons are really good too. Mm. I agree. Spicy noodle. And what you got? Taiwan. Spicy it's got peanut rice noodles, crushed peanuts with scallions and, and onions. Well, manja. A few moments later. Well, how was it? Excellent. Excellent? Mine too. <sighs> Clean the whole plate. I would say today was like a 10 out of 10. It was good. That was good. I'm full. Ospreys. They made for life. Oh yeah, she's the one making a racket. Wow, it's a woman. Yeah, always <laughs> complaining. <laughs> what follows is a brief construction montage. This is the last room spare bedroom bathroom and it's nasty just a reminder what everything looked like here when i first bought the place there's no shutoffs in these mobile homes so i got a few of these shark bites to shut them off hopefully the stems will be long enough by the time i'm done that might be a little short we will see it's kind of nasty got to rip the floor up in here of course this whole entire room's got to be ripped out but it's so small i guess that's got to be replaced too got a bb hole Somebody was in here with a BB gun. Oh my god, I shot my eye out! Mm -hmm. Got my shark bites out here. Now this had some kind of a water filtration system. I'm probably going to cut it here and put the shark bites up a little higher. And do away with all this because that filtration system that I put in works really, really good. I don't need this anymore. I got a new faucet. I'm going to replace this old rusty thing. Yeah, that works awesome. Thanks, Kirby and Caesar. Thing works excellent. My water is, I mean, I drink it right out of tap. You can't taste anything. One of the best investments I made down here. Yep, even though the water shut off there. I still got a little pressure. We'll let it drain down here. Then I'll open up them inside faucets just a little bit because since that's the lowest point, Once it's done, it'll actually drain back a little, so hopefully it won't get a mess inside. It'll take a little longer than I expected. That hopefully should be it. That's weird because when I'd go away and shut that valve off prior to having that iron filter, only a gallon of water would come out. That new iron filter must have an air pocket in there. Bought me a PEX cutter. See how it works. You need two hands for this. This is scary in here. Well, they're on. Now I'm by myself, so I gotta run outside, turn the water on, and come back in, make sure there's no leaks. That one's still draining back. Jeez. 
Something's storing a lot of water in there for that to be that much, huh? Wow, made me nervous for a minute there. This stored a lot of water, huh? I can hear it. Geez, you'd think this thing would have purged itself out by now. Uh, but who knows, maybe that's how it works. But now I know when I shut that off, I got a lot of reserve water in here. I'm probably gonna have to drain it at the hose, you know, when I go away in storage mode. No leaks, no leaks, no leaks. Now I can rip all this stuff out. I don't know why they don't put shut offs. I guess, you know, save a couple dollars here and there. They're built cheap and they're sold cheap. Never saw a saddle clamp for pecs. That's a first for me. Saddle valve, whatever you call it. I'll save it. Eek. I got a little scrubbing to do here. Jeez, I remember when Peerless was a cat's meow. Got a quick connect on these now. Wow. I wish I didn't have to use this. I wonder if they make a plug that fits that end. I'll have to look. They really should put that in the kit just in case you don't want to use that little sprayer piece. Got a bag in there, boys. No leaks. Mm. I always take this strainer out before I turn it on because if there's any crap in there, it's going to plug them little orifices. And these water savers have tiny, tiny little orifices. That's what she said. No leaks. No leaks. Now I gotta scrub this sink because it's gonna look real bad. In contrast to this brand new faucet. Are these like water savers now? They must be. Yep, I bet you're water savers. So it's got some kind of restrictive something in there. Kirby would know. Kirby, what is it? That stuff right there works pretty damn good on rust. Like any rust stains, it actually is heating this pad up. I have the spray too. Pretty amazing. I mean, a good old SOS pad probably be better, but I don't have one. I'm sure you're supposed to use rubber gloves. Come out pretty good. Not too bad, really. Might even be good enough for the wife's approval. You're crazy. All clean. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.